Just after 6 a.m., holding his belongings in a brown paper bag, Brock Turner was let out of jail, not out of back door far from sight, but right out the front. To make a point, said Santa Clara's sheriff, the public had a right to see what happens when there's a flaw in the system. I'm a mother and I believe that anybody who's convicted of rape should go to state prison, not receive county jail time. It happened here, January 2015. Two students at Stanford saw Turner sexually assaulting a drunk, unconscious woman behind a campus dumpster. They called police and held Turner. The 19-year-old was convicted. The prosecutor asked for six years. A judge sentenced him to six months. And now he's out after only three. Very frustrated. It just doesn't seem... I, I just don't understand how they could justify this. The judge said Turner was young, had no criminal record, had been affected by alcohol and showed remorse. But many believe Turner got such a lenient sentence because he was a privileged white All-American athlete. Judge Aaron Persky has recused himself from hearing criminal cases, but a campaign to force him off the bench is gaining support. He's biased. He doesn't understand sex crimes or violence against women. Turner will likely go back to his family's home in the suburbs of Ohio. Banned from Stanford, banned from competitive swimming, facing an uncertain future. In the words of the sheriff who watched him walk out of her jail, there is a lot of hate. Kim Brunhoover, CBC News, Los Angeles.